So Matt, my final question is in terms of networking, we know that a lot of jobs are, or people find jobs, even if it's not posted, the hidden market, a lot of time they are posted, but they already know who they are hiring. So how can people start networking? It sometimes can be difficult. Nowadays we're going back to in-person, but a lot of times we were online. What are your thoughts? Yes, so that's, uh, first off, again, track who you're meeting, how you met them, any contact information mm -hmm. as you start. You don't want to have to backtrack. That's the worst. Um, and then provide yourself with a calendar. I call it tickling. Make sure you are reaching back out to them. I would say every six weeks, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. um, if you give them, so this is the biggest thing, like I mentioned earlier, we talked about is offering them some sort of insight, incentive, uh, uh, something they were unaware of. Um, so if you can give them an article or some, any sort of just advice that maybe you saw someone that they, they might be interested in, that will resonate with them. I have customized kind of cold messaging templates for my clients that I provide that they can kind of use to, to fill in blanks and stuff. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're coming in as professional as you can yeah. with something to offer in terms of value for them, most likely they should be able to ping you back. Um, if they don't, sometimes you're in the wrong, yeah. you know, they might not even be on LinkedIn ever, they're, yeah. there, but they're never checking it. So don't get defeated either. Keep moving. But as far as, yeah, one thing would be LinkedIn again, like we mentioned, the hiring managers or decision makers, even recruiters at companies you want to work at within those locations. Um, the second one is if you have a local or um, uh, um, uh, industry specific event online or even yeah. in person that you can do it and, but make yourself hold yourself accountable to attend one of those every yeah. you know, three months or something. Right. Yeah. Um, don't just meet the people though. And then go, Oh, I did it. Um, truly a follow up, like, right. A follow up, follow up and then massage and cultivate. Yeah. Um, you don't need to be best friends, but have a couple, every couple months saying, Hey, how you been? Uh, you know, I thought of you the other day because I saw that, you know, good rich is going out of business or whatever. Yeah. Like, God, I hope they don't, yeah. but you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. be professional though, is my, biggest thing for people yeah. that are especially early career because when you come off obnoxious or half-ass or you know hey you know i need a job what can you do for that <laughs> kind of stuff no you can't not only does it ruin it pisses people it's, off yeah so and i know it because i get people coming in hot to me and i'm like who the f are you um so be mindful that professional communication is yeah. probably half the battle yeah. and then again when you reach out to them, they'll give that give them something don't something. ask yeah. eventually you might be able to make the ask yeah i would say my clients that when when you're doing online see who's attending or uh, uh, reach out to the speakers and customize when you're sending them the uh, net connection request hi matt i know that you're going to speak in this workshop i uh, like to connect and here and then once you accept follow up hi matt thank you for accepting my request i really enjoyed the conversation let's keep in touch and again have an excel sheet have a, something to follow up every maybe every two weeks if you're very much interested and then comment on their uh content that they created and then as you mentioned send a message hey Matt, i saw that you post this article very interesting i like to have your insight about something and again reach out to uh hiring manager client or even sometimes i tell let's say you want to work in this x company try to find that the person whose position you like to have and then reach out to them say hey i like your company can you tell me day-to-day -day life can you tell me what skills do you think and don't ask for a job just gather information and then it's a long run then one day you might say hey by the way i saw that your company is hiring can you refer me because that's all you want exactly and don't like you're saying don't feel overwhelmed about it just little bits at a time every monday yeah. tuesday we you know just and be and grow the consistency and know that may, there might not be an outcome this is purely yeah. a seed planting game yes um, but you and i both know as small business owners the seeds we planted months ago are actually flourishing here and there so yeah it's always your planning so don't feel like nothing's happening if you don't get a someone responding in a month i mean yeah. it might take you three four months but job hunts can take two to eight months so yeah. what you're going to go on indeed ply and be done no go out there and take an hour just to maintain a little bit of a network relationship they're busy yeah they're not looking to sleep over with you and have a pool party yeah. um you know or come over and watch netflix like they're, they just quick little check-ins yeah and be on your way and like you said informational interviewing people love talking about themselves yeah. and their company yeah. so they're all most of them were for it yeah <laughs> And those are great tips, Matt. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed it. Very practical, very direct uh, tips. 
And I hope those job seekers, whoever is listening, going to implement. And if you need more tips, you can reach to both of us and we can help you more in person. Again, thank you, Matt, for that. And for the audience, tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. So, Matt, keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Have a good night, buddy.